Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining me for another Alfred Hitchcock Presents Review. Today I will be talking about Season 3, Episode 29, Fatal Figures, starring John MacGyver as Harold. And this is an average episode in my opinion. It has a very strange but somewhat unique plot, and it's definitely one of those episodes you just have to go with it. You can't question the plot too much. The strange thing about the episode is that I actually thought that uh, they got away with it, that the plot worked for most of the episode. Unfortunately, what doesn't work is the ending of the episode, and uh, that really brings the score down somewhat for me. But this is still kind of a unique original episode that uh, kind of has its good moments here and there. So we start out with our main character, Harold, and his sister, and they're talking. Harold's getting ready to go to work, and he seems very annoyed by the fact that he's been going through the same routine for years without anything ever changing. And when he finds out this shop owner that uh, he saw every day and passed by, passed away, he gets even more upset. He says they were friends even though they never spoke, you know, kind of emphasizing more this routine that uh, Harold goes through. So in the next scene, Harold's very upset about this, that this man passed away. He's talking to his sister, saying he won't be remembered for anything. He's basically just a statistic or a number, however you want to say it. His sister doesn't really have any sympathy for him. It seems uh, like this isn't that important to her to be remembered for anything that's special. She doesn't get it. And she makes matters worse when she shows him a book, an almanac, I think it is, with the, with the uh, population in it. And uh, this makes him feel like he doesn't stand out even more. So Harold continues to read this almanac, and he starts uh, looking at the numbers for things like stealing, theft, and uh, he decides that he's going to steal something because it'll help him stand out more. So he steals a car, and he seems pleased with himself until he realizes that uh, he probably won't be caught. So he decides to commit another robbery. And uh, at this point, his sister's also annoying him about some... Uh, checkers game, which I have to say, uh, she was pretty annoying here. So anyway, she also finds some perfume, which I'm guessing is what he stole. And, uh, she thinks he's found another woman, uh, to be with. So Margaret's definitely not on the right track, but she yells at him and really lays into him and leaves the room. So then Harold has an idea that he's going to commit a murder because this will make him stand out even more based on the numbers because there's less killers than there are thieves. So at this point, the plot is uh, interesting enough, if a little bit strange and not totally believable. So at this point, Harold kills his sister off screen, which was an interesting choice, but it worked out okay. So the sergeant comes by to question him, and the sergeant says it must have been food poisoning that killed her. Harold tries to, you know, hint that it might have been a murder, but... Uh, the sergeant says there really was no motive for this. So Harold's talking to himself. He's very conflicted, and he decides he needs to convince the sergeant that he murdered his sister, so he actually wants to be blamed for this. Like I said, very strange. I wasn't sure about Harold's motives at this point. So Harold actually confesses to the sergeant. He says he did it, and he explains his motive based on the statistics and the numbers. But the sergeant's still not convinced, which uh, I did like. I'm not sure that I would be convinced either at this point. So the sergeant says we need to go down to police headquarters, and you need to tell this story you know, to uh, the people in charge down there. So Harold decides he's going to get his coat. He seems happy with this until he reads another statistic that uh, says, you know, talks about people doing themselves in. And so he does. And that's kind of how the episode ends. But what I want to know is, was Harold crazy the whole time? Because otherwise this ending makes no sense. Because the number of murderers was actually less than the number of people that do themselves in. So I guess we're supposed to think... Uh, that Harold was crazy. So, like I said, the ending didn't totally work for me. It was kind of abrupt and didn't really make sense in the context of the episode. At least in my opinion, others might find it to their satisfaction. Fatal Figures is a mixed bag for me. It has its ups and downs. And overall, I'm going to give it a two and a half out of five. Uh, as far as whether you should watch it or not, if you like uh, episodes that are a little bit offbeat, I would say maybe check this one out. But it's not essential. So two and a half out of five for Fatal Figures. And as always, thank you very much for watching.